In this video, we're gonna be talking all about how to market yourself as a consultant. When we look at marketing yourself as a consultant, we wanna look at what you already have set up. We wanna grow your specialty. So with your specialty, that's the best way to stand out. Because if you are serving people well, that's gonna naturally grow yourself and it's gonna grow the marketing organically. But what do you do if you don't have those people coming to your website and continuing to come in for consulting? Well, we wanna look at some of the inbound marketing you're doing on your own website. So that's gonna be things like awesome blog posts, podcasts, Facebook Lives that are redirecting people back to your website, creating resources, maybe long form blog posts. But we also wanna look at connecting with people outside of your website. So that's gonna be things like guest blog posts, getting interviewed on podcasts, and doing a number of other things. What's great about getting interviewed by other people is it forces you to conceptualize your approach to consulting. Why are you unique? There's so many other consultants out there. Why should someone work with you? What makes you different? Now, that doesn't mean that you have to innovate from the beginning and that you just totally stand out. It could just be your approach. It could be that you frame things just a little bit differently. Oftentimes we get paralyzed by perfection because we think we have to totally innovate and start from scratch. But really, it might just be that you're bringing together a number of great ideas that help people in a different or unique way. Or maybe you understand the pain of the problem differently than other people. That's really important to think through. So how do you then market yourself? Well, I would say reaching out to influencers that are already doing the work, looking for gaps within your specific industry, and then making sure that you innovate new ideas is super important. So let's look at those different ideas. Influencers, how do you reach out to them? Well, you wanna make sure that you're adding value to whatever they have. So understand their blog, understand their podcast, pitch yourself as something that's unique and new, but that also goes within the DNA of that website. If you do that, you are better able to get onto those websites and podcasts. Next, you wanna be looking at your industry. Where are their gaps? Maybe all of the print magazines are terrible, and it's time for one that maybe costs you some money to send out, but people love. That's gonna give some attention to you as an innovator or someone that's recreating something that's been done terribly. Next, we wanna to continue to grow those big ideas. We wanna add layers to it. Focus on that one thing that's gonna give you tons of growth, but then keep adding layers to it. What do people need before consulting with you? What do they need during consulting with you that you can enhance? And what about after consulting? That sandwich approach better helps you be able to serve people. So when you're marketing yourself, the number one thing to remember is that you're not marketing yourself. You are solving a problem. You are working on pain. What is the pain that you are trying to help with in all that you do? So if you're getting interviewed on a podcast, if you're doing a guest blog post, if you're creating your own content, make sure you're always focused on what is the pain that I'm solving through this and solve that one pain in that blog post, podcast, interview, or other content. For more awesome resources to help you become a better consultant and to grow your private practice, head on over to practiceofthepractice.com forward slash resources. We have tons of checklists, walkthroughs, eBooks that are totally free to help you grow. Have an awesome day.